Hey there, everyone. This is Aokao playing WarioWare, and this is going to be the finale. There's just like not all that much left. There's a grid, but we know what's happening with the grid by now. Yeah. There are basically two options left here. There is the staff, which seems to be like it'd be just the credits. Hello. But there might be a game attached to it. There's also a little red bird we got here. Pioro, uh, Pioro, it's Pioro. And Pioro needs some nourishment. Use his long tongue to snare those veggies. All right, I can move left and I can move right and I can extend Pioro's. Birds are known for their incredible tongue. Everyone knows that. All right, let's go. This is like one of the last thing I, I rah, this is super gross, okay. <laughs> Got it. Here we go, look at that, I'm getting Pioro. Do you think there's like any extra value of plants? Oh, the higher they are, the more points they give. Fan risk rewards. See, that's how you get the big scores. See, otherwise you get 10. Because I was wondering, like, wow, 10,000. That seems like a lot. Like, how is that gonna work? That's how. Do you get punished? Oh, they blow up the walls. Okay. What are you eating, Pioro? Uh, should I know? Alright, well, I mean, you can go ahead and cause a mess over there. I don't care all that much. Because I'm not allowed to go there. Yeah, I can't like jow my pressing up or anything it looks like. Alright, so right now I am definitely playing more in survival mode than in doing good mode. I uh, don't think I didn't notice and I just made my life harder. Hey, but then the safety angel comes over and is like, Hey, check it out, a house just grew in the background. Is it because you're being fed? Is that progress? Oh shoot, I got bopped on the head! Whoa, instant game over? That's, that's pretty rough. I mean, considering that these falling vegetables are able to make tiles of floor go away. Yeah, you probably don't want to get one of these on a noggin. I'm not promising a high score. I'm just playing for fun. I know 10,000 still seems like a lot. I, I don't know if the game like ever develops or anything, but that's the thing. So. The reward you get for beating grid mode, you know, for getting a medal on every game in every grid is sort of a... the sequel to this game. So, I considered not playing this game yet, but I feel like we need something to end the series. Yeah, like honestly, the video I released yesterday should have been the finale, and I probably should have kept like all of this for when I started grid or after grid mode, we can have like a post WarioWare, less few things. But no, I felt like I had to play something because of the way I ended the video. Like I just, I, I, ending a video without having like some form of conclusive statement just feels weird and shallow and empty in a weird way. Wow, I just did that very well. Very proud of, hey there, thank you. Is that when you eat one of the white ones, I wonder? Is that what summons the healing cherubin. Let's find out. Yeah, it is. As soon as your tongue touches uh, the delicious white nectar of the sky radish, that's when the angel pops over and then the fairground begins. Uh, Alright, but then there, I just kinda miss, I'm bad. Yeah, I'm definitely playing for survival more than for score. Nothing wrong with that. It's in fact probably healthy to try to live. Oh shoot. I still managed to walk right through that radish. All right, one last time, we're gonna play three rounds of Pioro, because it's a fun name to say. And you can do that. There's nothing to gain from it, but you can do that. Look at that, high score strats look like that. And it doesn't take long until you kind of really can't do that anymore. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, see, but see, as soon as you lose control though, you know, you can't do that anymore, basically. It's a game of momentum, in a weird sense, where once things start going bad, things just kind of go bad everywhere at once. And that's, that's how it is, you know? It's the Go Bad game. Gogurt. From Frogbert. It's not a real person. I, there might, I doubt there's someone out there named Frogbert. But there could be. There are people out there who are really cruel to their children with how they name them. Frogbert? I mean, frogs are cool, but I just feel it's like, I like frogs, 
But it's not. Oh boy. It's, uh. So here's the thing with this game. You gotta realize. Oh, hey, it's nighttime. Ooh, that's flashing. That's pretty good, probably. Yeah! Hyperfix! Hyperfix motors! Uh, it's kind of nighttime ish. And uh, yeah, you can't like lick directly above you. So, uh, you know, if you're kind of trapped and you're feeling trapped and you're actually trapped and there's a thing like right above you, you can't do much about it. Like, that's how things are gonna get you. And that's why it is dangerous to be pure, <laughs> I guess, is one way of. Oh, I just see. Like, now what am I gonna do? Cry? Because it's tempting. All right, here we go. What? Oh, my aim was bad. You know what? I got pretty close to 10,000. I got closer than I thought I would. But I'm pretty happy with this, not gonna lie. It's pure and WarioWare is such just a weird thing. You get a lot of things with your game of pure and, and yeah, pure and 2 will be our ultimate prize for gradually clearing uh grid mode one day. All right, so staff, WarioWare, Incorporated staff. That's right, we didn't see like a proper credit after beating the game. We got like the fake credits of Wario's friends. Uh, oh yeah, let's check it out. I expect there to be a game associated with this. Oh, maybe not. Okay, WarioWare Incorporated. Those are the people we are. So oh, that is a slow way to do this, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's a pink pig. That's the color you expect a pink to be. Got ourselves a star field. It's a pretty cool game concept. Oh, wow, only one person. I mean, I know what he mean, like the concept of the overall package. System! Thank you, Matsuoka Hirofumi. You made a system. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I kind of realized the other day that I feel like we don't really know, like, the name of most of the people who do stuff for Nintendo. Like, everyone knows Suwana, everyone knows Miyamoto. Everyone kind of knows Koji Kondo, but even then I feel like you're getting a little bit further. Uh, like, I feel like there's a lot of companies out there where people who work in the games... Like, think about Doom. Like, everyone involved with Doom. People people in the know kind of have a general feel for, for the people who work there. Nintendo, though... Like, you know, like, the people at the top... And like, like I said, like the music guy, Koji Kondo, cause he released music. So, you know, that's relatively easy to find. Like who made the levels, you know, of the various games and all that? Like there's a lot of little things. I'm, I, yeah, I say that, but I bet if I were to actually look for it, it'd be easy enough to find. So I'm probably talking out of my butt. Now that I think about it. So one person made the bosses, well they programmed the bosses. Doesn't mean that they designed them. Sub-game programming. Well, Abegoro's there too, you know? I think he's just kind of involved with all programmings. Except for Cinema Scene Singular. Well, it's because the programming of Cinema Scene... No, oh, yeah, I think it should be plural. That's me, the grammar judge. <laughs> Don't look at any of my author descriptions, by the way. <laughs> So, you know what? This staff roll, a bit more normal than I expected. It's extremely straightforward and reuses Elevator Pig. I mean, that's fine. Like, it's fine. It's absolutely okay that he did that. I don't know. I thought it'd be something. Tim O'Leary? Where'd I heard that name before? I know I've heard it somewhere. Doesn't matter. Voices. Yeah. It's, it's names pop up in room and because they use they use the elevator like sort of set piece from the real game it's a little slower than I'd want for a for a credit roll well that's fine you know everyone we should have time to perfectly read everyone's name and there's are who among these people has decided to keep the Anacat essentially untranslated like unlocalized because hats off to you that was so good. Super Mario Club, they can handle the debugging. They don't get names though. Alright, okay fine, these get names. But I don't know if they're part of the Super Mario Club or they're like a completely different offset of people. I have no idea. Starscape Wanderer. Wandering the Starscape. 
So yeah, also, with the end of WarioWare, we are ending this strange little uh, overtaking of my channel with the Zombie of the A-Side. Three games that I would easily... Co well, okay, one of them's a ROM hack, but the other two games are two games that would... Like, you know, they're... Part of, if you do an all of Mario, Paper Mario's there, but like to me, like all the Wario games would have been part of that. So that's why that's what I consider a game material. And yeah, we just got three A sides for a hot second. But no, after uh, after the Mega Man one shot, we are going to be returning to the world of indie. Not India. <laughs> no, indie, but with an E and seven I. Um, and uh, yeah, whereas WarioWare was an extremely hectic and manic little thing that I played and enjoyed quite a bit, uh, we're gonna be moving on over to a game that self-describes as a game for sleepy people. So, <laughs> expect something extremely different. And that's what I- I love me a Contra. Alright! That's why it was a UFO. I thought we would be like, capturing the people who were in the credit. Oh, to be fair, I didn't press a single button. I don't press buttons during endings because my instinct is that if I touch anything, it's gonna cut. It's gonna cut away or something. WarioWare Incorporated Mega Micro Games. Uh, see you again on the R side.